Google Maps provides a suite of APIs to let developers access location data. We'll cover some pitfalls and best practices for using the web service APIs in your mobile app. Pinging the server regularly, like for example once a minute, will force the radio to wake up and drain the user's battery very quickly. Where possible, you should batch up requests and send them all at once. This means the radio only needs to power up once for a number of requests, the result being a lot less power consumed and happier users. Don't ping on the first second of each minute. Applications that ping on the minute are more likely to hit usage limits. APIs typically impose limits on the number of queries per second. So, for example, if your application polls the API once a minute, and you do the polling in the exact same second of every minute for all your users, you'll reach your limit very quickly. By randomizing the polling interval, you reduce the chance of exceeding your quota. Now let me tell you about the importance of using an API key. See, if you connect to a Geo API service without a key, Google will use the IP address of the device to count the number of requests. Even if your app is small and doesn't hit usage limits on its own, not using a key means you share quota with all other apps on the same device. When using an API key, it's super important to keep that key out of your application binary because it's trivial to reverse engineer any binary to find a key. And if that happens, any third party could start using Google services and charging the usage to your account. So don't do it. Instead, you can use a proxy server to make the API requests on your app's behalf. Whoa, that was a lot of info. But trust me, it is worth it because knowing all this makes your app that much leaner, better and easier to build. So check out the documentation on these links and start building great apps using maps. That was a lame joke, wasn't it? Should we do it again? Yeah. Oh.